Nicole, and thank you for joining me for our very first STEAM story time. I bet you're wondering, what is STEAM? Well, STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Mathematics, which are amazing subjects to learn more about so that we can understand the world around us even better. Today, we are going to explore, see if you can guess, winter and snow yes and ice we're going to have some fun experimenting with ice and we are going to read about frost so we will be using steam story time to sing and read and experiment and just try to figure out more about the world together but let's start with a song i am going to sing the song each time we do our steam story time together so Sing along with me, and it's okay if you don't know all the words, we will learn them. All right, let's begin. The more that we learn science, learn science, learn science, the more that we learn science, the happier we'll be. We'll know things and do things and explore many new things. The more that we learn science, the happier we'll be. Let's get started. Let's count and rhyme together. Let's do five little snowflakes. One little snowflake with nothing to do. Along came another. And then there were one, two, one, two, two little snowflakes laughing with me. <laughs> Along came another, and then there were one, two, three, three. Three little snowflakes looking for some more. Along came another, and then there were one, two, three, four, four. Four little snowflakes dancing a drive. Along came another, and then there were, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five. Five little snowflakes having so much fun, but out came the sun, and then there were none. you but I love winter and snow and ice and frost all things winter so I thought it would be fun today to do something a little bit different and make fizzy ice now you will need ice for this but you can also use snow so cool today we will use ice though but it's up to you before you start experimenting I would get a tablecloth, a plastic tablecloth, and maybe a plastic tablecloth by your feet if you have carpet. And I would put on an apron or something so you don't get anything on your clothes because we are going to use some food coloring today. We will need for this experiment the ice and snow I mentioned, the food coloring. I picked red, blue, and yellow. We will also need medicine droppers or little pipettes. Or you can also use little spoons to dip it out. We'll just use whatever we have around the house. Sound good? You will also need some baking soda and a little dish to put the baking soda into. Or you can sprinkle it on top when it's time. Not yet. 
and I used a stirrer. You might not need it, but you might. And three cups because we are using three different colors. But you don't have to use the same colors as me. You can try different colors. I picked these three colors for a certain reason and you'll see why later. So it's all here. I guess we should get started then. So the first step is that you are going to take your vinegar and pour some into each cup. One, two, three. You don't need an exact amount, just some will work. And then you are going to take and put some food coloring in each cup, a few drops. And you're going to mix it up. This made red. You see the red? I forgot to mention it might be a good idea to have napkins or a paper towel around for quick cleanup. Here comes, well, I'll let you guess what color this is. Okay, what color do you see? Looks like blue. Okay, one more. see what this color will be. Stir, stir, stir. What color do you see? Yellow. Yes. So we have yellow, blue, and red. So now that we're done mixing those up, you will want to find some ice or some snow and put it into a bin like this or a bowl, whatever works. So now that we have our ice in there, you can play around with it a little if you want. You can feel it, it's pretty cold, kind of smooth. And look, when my hand warms it up, it turns back into water, doesn't it? Hmm. So heat makes the ice melt. So I better stop touching it because I don't want to melt all my ice yet. Next, I am going to take one of my droppers or spoons, or you could even use a straw and try doing that, sucking it up with a straw. I am going to use a dropper and I am going to use, let's see, which color should I use first? Let's try blue. I'll put some in my dropper. I just squeeze and it pulls it right up. Oh, I almost forgot a step. Sorry. We need to put some baking soda on our ice. So I put enough so I can see it and I'll show you what that looks like. So you can kind of see the white on the ice. Yeah. And then here comes the fun part. Put some blue into your dropper and start dropping it on and look and see what happens. Or listen. I hear fizzing and it's bubbling. Should we try another color? Yeah. Let's try red. Oh yes, that looks so cool. It's foaming and fizzing. Now let's try yellow. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Fizzing foaming ice. Very cool. Now, I wonder why it is fizzing. What is making that noise? What is making these bubbles? Well, it is carbon dioxide gas. Have you ever heard of that? Carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide is all around us and we actually make it. When we breathe out, we breathe out carbon dioxide. And when we mix vinegar and baking soda together, when these two things come together, they make carbon dioxide and they make this fun, fizzing, foaming um, reaction on our ice. That's kind of cool. So I was also going to tell you why I picked these three colors. Wonder if anybody knows why. Hmm. Well, I picked these three colors because when I combine them, I can make new colors. Yes. So I'm going to sprinkle on a little more baking soda onto the other side of my ice. See it? Give it a little more. Why not? Ooh, this is really going to foam. I have a feeling. So I wonder what happens when I put yellow and blue together. Anybody have any um, hypotheses? That's kind of like a really good guess. Anybody? Let's see. Well, it makes green, yellow and blue make green, yeah. Now, what would happen if I put red and yellow together? Hmm, anybody have a good hypothesis? Let's see. hard to tell because it wants to foam but you might see some of that foaming orange red and yellow make orange yeah how about red and blue does anybody know what happens when we mix red and blue together well, let's see well we get purple so I wonder what colors you might discover when you mix colors together. And I hope you'll have some fun making some carbon dioxide at home with your fizzing, foaming ice or snow. I hope it's snow so you can do it with snow. Have a great time, play around, ask questions and wonder why. Wow, this was so much fun. I had a great time making fizzing foaming ice and reading about Jack Frost and singing and playing and just exploring winter together. It was so much fun and I hope you had a great time too. So if you would like to be a steam story time explorer like me, I would love for you to keep exploring winter more, whatever interests you, whatever makes you wonder why. To do that, you can come into the library and pick out more books. You can call us if you have a topic or you'd like us to pick out some books for you. We love doing that. You can also use our curbside um, pickup service where you can pull right up and we'll bring your books right out to you. And we also have a bookmobile, which is super cool. So check it out sometime. Until then, I hope you will keep exploring just like I will, and I will see you next time when we have another STEAM story time and we learn all about bath time. That will be a blast. See you then.